a 40 years old man undergo a complex appendicectomy and wound fails to heal satisfactory. The wound site itself is associated with multiple sinuses and fistula. Pass is sent for microbiology and shows gram positive organism and sulfur granules. What is the most likely underlying diagnosis? So, the complex appendicectomy procedure and wound fail to satisfactory that means there is the wound infection and there is the multiple sinus and fistula so there is multiple sinus and fistula this is the first point the second one is the when the microscopy done of this organism this is the gram positive organism so second point is the gram positive organism and third point is the sulfur granule so what may be the answer option here the options options are the infection with staphylococcus aureus infection with bacteroids fragilis actinomycosis crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis so what may be the option and in this infection there is a multiple sinus multiple fistula on microscopic examination there is gram positive organism and sulfur granule gram positive organism that means it is an a bacteria so what may be the option so first of all let's see the details about the actinomycosis so actinomycosis it named like fungus the actinomycosis mycosis is related to the fungus but the actinomycosis it is actually the gram positive organism so first of all here we can see the actinomycosis it causes chronic and progressive granulometers disease and it is caused by gram positive anaerobic bacteria so the actinomycosis it is not the fungus it is positive bacteria it is gram positive bacteria and this is though most commonly it affect head and neck area but it may occur any of the part of our body like abdomen like lower back and the leg and any area it may occur Although it may also occur in the abdominal cavity, also in the thoracic cavity and any parts of the uh, body and usually it formation multiple sinus tracts. So this point is very very important. It form, forms the multiple sinus tract and in case of abdominopelvic actinomycosis, what happens in case of abdominopelvic mycosis or most frequently individual that had appendicitis so in the abdomen the actinomycosis is relatively rare but when it happened most of them due to appendix and what is the pathology on histological examination gram positive organism is evidence of the sulfur granule so this point is very very important it release sulfur granule actinomycosis it release sulfur granule and it is the diagnostic feature for actinomycosis because the gram positive organism there are different type of the gram positive organism like staphylococcus streptococcus but they has no capability to produce sulfur granule the sulfur sulfur granule is diagnostic for actinomycosis and what is the treatment long term treatment with the penicillin also there is requirement of the surgical resection when there is the dead tissue and where there is the necrotic tissue also when there is the sinus tract when there is the fistula in this condition it is not possible to heal spontaneously without surgery so in case of the fistula formation sinus formation so in this condition surgery is mandatory but when there is not that type of the lesion in this condition penicillin is enough for treatment of the actinomycosis so here the chronic sinuses the chronic sinus and multiple sinus the multiple sinus present in case of the actinomycosis and the multiple sinus is also present in case of the crohn's disease but in the crohn's disease there is no organism responsible in crohn's disease it is the inflammatory procedure and in crohn's disease there is no sulfur granule formation when in case of actinomycosis there is the sulfur granule formation so when there is a sulfur granule present direct go for actinomycosis there is no need for other option but here the satisfactory and uh, others options here such as there is the multiple sinus multiple fistula so when there is multiple sinus multiple su fistula suspect for crohn's disease suspect for actinomycosis and also there is the gram positive organism so there are four important points 
regarding the actinomycosis so our answer is the actinomycosis and the actinomycosis it is a chronic inflammation and it occurs in case of abdomen most commonly in case of the appendix thank you all